Hello, family and friends. We are going to demonstrate our bread, bread making. My name is Kay Peacock, Yash Duisa, Usha Chanu, and Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Angel Bailey. Hi everybody, I'm Juana Natwe. Um she wanna Oshatana e um Yakawashi um Hoik. So um, um, I live in the village of Laguna. I'm a big son and little boy. So Angel Day is going to go ahead and start. She's going to um, show all the ingredients. Okay. So first, we have our flour, our inawi. And we have about a 10-pound bag of flour here. And then we have our um, dry milk. We have two cups of it, um, suini. And we have our salt, our minnow. Uh, we have our yeast. We already have it in the bowl with the sugar. So, um, so you're gonna mix the mix the yeast with some warm water, and then you let it sit for a while before you put it in. And that's it. Oh, and the lard. And then the lard. We have the lard here um, and our water, our sips. So those are the ingredients we'll be using today. So one is gonna mix it. <laughs> Again, this is our um, 10 pound flour. So Angel will pour the, in the, um, the ingredients and then I'll do the mixing. Okay, so we're gonna take, since we only have the 10 pound, we're just gonna take about two and a half handfuls of salt, um, since it's not the whole 25 pounds. So we'll do about that much salt, so then she can mix that first. Mix the dry ingredients first. So you use your hands, your fingers, and just mix the flour and the salt together. And since we're using the dry milk today, we're also going to add that in. So we have um, two cups of the dry milk. We'll go ahead and add that too, so that way it can get mixed with the dry ingredients. And then when you're mixing this, make sure you get to the bottom. Sometimes um, with the flowers down there, so just mix it all together. So next we're going to add our lard in and uh, you want to do about, for a 10 pound bag, about two, two pounds of lard. So we're just going to scoop it in and um, you'll mix this before you add like the, the water in. So you'll do the lard first till the dough is kind of um, like little, little pebbles, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll add in your your liquid after this. So that was two handfuls. We'll probably do another two. Another one? Yeah. Okay. And then that should be good. Here's the lard. So you want to squeeze the, the lard with your fingers, you know, just mix it in with the flour and the other dry ingredients. The whole bowl. So I'm squeezing and crushing the lard, as you can see, mixing it into the flour. Maybe Angel can uh, move the camera to show you how it looks on the top. So she's mixing it and breaking up the lard so that way it gets mixed in with the flour. The salt and the dry milk. I 
also you have to, you know, move your hands around because you still feel chunks of the lard. So of course you have to pinch it into the dry all the ingredients. So I don't know if some of my friends have seen their parents, maybe your moms, your grandmas, your aunties, your sisters. You might have seen them make bread. So a lot of the time we make bread when we have um, special events going on. So like say for our feast days or when we're having our traditional dances, we make um, this type of bread. Um, the feast day is coming up here soon on the 19th. So you might see some of your family members making some bread for the feast so you guys can feed at your homes. So we make bread during that time. And a good thing to remember about bread too is when you're baking anything really, you want to have good thoughts and a happy heart so that way your food can come out good and tasty. Okay, so you can see it's like into <clears throat> like little crumbs. It's not flour. Breaking up so that's when you can add your um, butter and then your yeast. Look at the yeast now. Now it's mixed. It's done its job. So we can add this. It's all foamy. We know that the um, it's ready. So we can pour it into the um, flour mixture now. Now we're going to pour the water in. So here you have to use your muscles to mix in that water with the dough to make the dough. You can keep adding your water until you think it you don't need any more water. They're a little sticky, so I need to mix them more with the flour that's at the bottom. You have to pull the dough and knead it.
as you can see, the dough is not sticking to me anymore, and it does take a lot of work, especially if you have a more flour, and you have to use your whole body, arms, and hands. So now, what we're going to do is cover it and let it rise. 